We start in the Western Cape, where the Disaster Management Centre, together with the Cape Metro and all stakeholders, are on standby to deal with any weather-related incidents. This follows reports of severe flooding across the province. A series of cold fronts made landfall at the beginning of the week, and more rain is expected. Cape Town officials say the flooding is the worst the metro has experienced in about 10 years. Aisha Ismail visited some of the affected areas and put together this report. Areas across the Western Cape have been battered by record rainfall that's caused extensive damage. This is the entrance to Citrus Dull. As usual, informal settlements were the hardest hit. In Paul, hundreds of people had to be evacuated from the area. We must remember that the one in 50 meter line, which is always your flood lines, we, we, we the municipality made provisions for, has been over flooded. And if you look at the, the, the typology of the landscape here, people stayed and built their sacks within that particular flood line. So all the runoffs is now running downwards in Dromedaris and Unati. But some built up areas also bore the brunt of the severe rainfall and strong winds. Two days of heavy rain left this community sleepless as the water gushed through their properties and into their homes. It is terrible outside. We, we don't know what to do. It looks like a disaster out, out there. You can't even walk outside. There's sinkholes. Yes, a sinkhole, yeah. Manuel's garage is flooded and she's unable to remove her car. Many weren't able to go to work and children did not go to school. While at a meeting with the municipality, residents were alerted to more flooding as a river at the back of their homes burst through its walls. They were told to return to their homes to evacuate and grab only the necessities. Where must we go to? Where must our, our, our animals go to? Our children that is in school, um, if you look to vandalism and housebreakings in our areas, you can't leave our houses just like that. Residents say while they cannot wish the rain away, they blame developments which are going up left, right and centre with poor planning despite residents opposing them. After the new development, this is the result. And as you can see everywhere in Paul, everywhere in Paul these new developments. But how is it, how is it possible that they can go um, beyond this petitions and so build the new developments with the poor infrastructure that they have. With more rain predicted, authorities are calling on residents to avoid traveling this long weekend. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.